Hello, this is Michael with Back to the Future Trading, and you're watching another episode of Ninja Trader <laughs> Unplugged. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the indicators in the Ninja Trader toolbox that comes free with your Ninja Trader charting package called the Double Stochastic. And you can see here I've got it plotted in the lower third of your screen right now. And so, what I like about it is that it takes the stochastic indicator that comes with the uh, package and it sort of smooths it out. And when you're first using the software, when you first start using NinjaTrader indicators or any platform for that matter, stochastics can be pretty uh, tricky to get your head around. And the D-Stoke or the double stochastic has a much clearer representation of what it's trying to communicate to you. And there's generally two schools of thought when it comes to reading an oscillator or reading in particular this oscillator and I want to go over both of them with you. First one is probably the least used and that's identifying entries based on trend as compared to the double stochastic and here's what I mean by that. This is just a standard D-stoke. I've just used the default values. Okay, watch what I do here. You're going to want to look for when the oscillator comes across this threshold. Now these lines are drawn automatically from the indicator. So you have one at 90 and one down here at 10. But when the oscillator crosses that upper threshold, watch for a cross back out in the direction of the trend. So if we come back over here, we're looking at crude futures. I can take my tool here and see that it wasn't quite crossed over until this black candle right here. So let's go ahead and put a red down arrow at that point. Kind of get what I'm laying down here. Okay, we'll put the drawing mode on constant. Okay, the next place that happens crosses the upper threshold and then starts to come down again is where? It's actually on that candle. You see where I'm going with this? Then the third time that happens is right here. Turns out to be the bottom. Okay, so the first two are the exact highs. And the market drops down completely. Third one is the bottom. Now, come back up. There's the threshold. There's the crossover. Down move. There's the threshold. There's the crossover resumption of trend. There's the crossover, resumption of trend. There's the crossover, not this candle, this candle, resumption of trend. So you see what's starting to happen here? We're seeing almost every time that the market moves immediately in the direction of a trending market. Same thing here, crosses over, closes, starts to move down again crosses over, closes, starts to move down again. Okay, so when you're using the double stochastic, look for and identify the trend. Now, I've given you access in my download area to the EMA slope color indicator. I've got it set here to a 120 period exponential moving average. And so it's obvious that if I see black, the trend is down. The market is moving down in the sense that the moving average is sloped down. Okay, and then if I'm referencing the double stochastic, I can have all of these entry points now looking at opportunities to go short. Where would I put stops? Put your stops one tick above the high of the candle. And go for at least double the risk. You can see if that's the case that most of the time you get an entry that pushes you into profits. Okay, then there's another way to look at the same indicator. Let me show you. It involves taking this EMA off. And then come over here and we're going to look for a channel style indicator. So we're going to look for a uh, Let's try a uh, Keltner channel first. Okay, so this is a counter trend way 
of viewing the same market information. So the indicator I have on here is a Keltner channel. It's a 10 period, just like the D-Stoke down below, but it has a 1.5 offset multiplier. Okay, and that's what's generating these bands. So if it's helpful to you, make the bands a little thicker than they normally are when they come with the package. And now you've got something where you can look for a very particular condition. Let me show you what I mean. Do you see here when the double stochastic is now crossing underneath that lower threshold, that 10 level that we talked about? Well, look up here and see how price is touching the lower band. And so if you see those two things together, you see those two things unified, you're watching for the D-stoke to be below the lower threshold and then for price to touch the lower band. And that happens right here. Similarly, you're watching for the double stochastic to be above 90 and then touch the upper band, which would be there. Okay, so you're watching for these levels where it's above overbought or below oversold and then touching the upper band. Now, it's a lot harder to pick a bottom and a top than it is to trade with the trend. Let me just sort of start out casually saying that. And you can see that there's more volatility at these turning points than there is when you're trading in the direction of the trend. But a lot of people are looking for tops and bottoms, trend reversals as it were. And so I want you to see the difference and how much easier it was when the market was in a trending configuration on the screen as opposed to a counter trending setup. So again, two ways of using the same indicator. You can look for overbought and oversold and try to pick highs and lows, or you can do like we did before and look for entries with the trend. You can see from the time that we've spent here, the short time together, which one tends to be the easier one to uh, get your head around and find better entries with. I'm going to save this template two ways, one with the trending indicator, the other with the Keltner channels on it in our download area for NinjaTrader Unplugged users. If you want access to that, it's relatively simple. I've got a website here and all you need to do is go to back to the future trading forwards back to the future trading dot com forward slash unplugged and that'll take you to a place where you can put your name and email and I'll send you a link to my Dropbox where I save the free indicators that we give out as well as the templates for the charts that you see created here today. Thanks for your time. Remember a lot of great stuff comes with the Ninja Trader charting package. You don't necessarily need to go out and start buying things. And if you want a helping hand, you have some questions, feel free to contact us over here at backtothefuturetrading.com. Thanks again for your time, guys. Have a great day and good trading.